Welcome back, my crystalliers, to Slime Rancher. This is episode, I think, five, right? Yeah, sure, why not? And uh, I wanted to show you some upgrades. Uh, I've been playing some of this on my own time, and I upgraded some of my corrals. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. So I got a bunch of these guys in here. I actually had a lot more, but that's another story. Uh, so I doubled the height of the corrals. They look awesome. And then I got an air net going on up top. So if they try to jump out, uh, it kind of like blocks them. It takes, it has like a health bar though, so it'll turn off if it takes too many hits. Oh, these guys look hungry. This is also double high. Um, I think I got something new in the cave too. Yeah, in the, oh yeah, in the cave I have these guys. Yeah, phosphor slimes, they're so cute and awesome. They're like fireflies. And I got an air net for them so they don't fly away and like leave and stuff. So, uh, yeah, there's that, and I also had, <coughs> excuse me, I also had, uh, one more new thing to show you, there's like a chicken coop right over here, what's going on over there, he's falling from the sky, got a chicken coop, let me go ahead and take those guys, thank you, I'll leave the stony hen and the chickadee though, uh, take you guys, and yeah, it's a chicken coop, and I upgraded it to be taller than it originally was, because when you build this thing, it's actually really short, it's like half the height of this. And I also upgraded it to have like grass, so they have food to eat, because apparently the grass attracts the bugs that they like. Sure, whatever. There's a corral here that made for the phosphor slimes, but it said that they might die in sunlight, so then I had to put them in a cave. We go ahead and feed these guys. There you go, there you go. And I'll leave that there for now. The auto collectors don't have that much in them. And this thing is, uh, this thing right here actually is like a food dispenser. If I put food in here, it dispenses them periodically to the dudes. So let's go ahead and fill that up actually. There we go. Got some pogos and got some carotos. Kakarot. I need to put a couple back in or else it won't grow more. I'll go ahead and just go that in there. And I'll throw the straight carrot in there for no reason. Other than to feed my little pretties. Come on, carrots. Come on, carrots, you know what to do. Uh actually now that I think about it, I don't think I can put different types of fruits all at the same time into this thing. Let me try it. Oh yeah. Nope, I cannot. I need to catch that. I guess I'll just feed these guys. Here you go. Carrots. Whoa, wait. Hey, chill. See, that's what I'm talking about. They just start flying around. This thing was... Because, like, okay. So this is what happened this one time. This thing was, like... It was double high, but it didn't have an air net. And I had, like, twice as many giant uh, slimes like that. And, um... They were hustling and bustling and then a bunch got free and then they jumped out and they landed in here and the reason that's a bad thing is because let me uh let me show you on the field of battle the field of battle why that is bad why those giant fruits well not fruits uh the giant uh slimes can't hang out with other different types of giant slimes they cannot uh just for good measure i'll pick up some more fruits here Oh, and I need to keep an eye out for crates such as this guy, I just saw him. I don't know if I ever uh, recorded my finding of a crate, but here you go, boom! Alright, I got Roostro, which I need, and I want a Q-Berry, so boom, 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 don't eat it, I need that. Super little. <laughs> These guys eat whatever they want. Alright, um, what am I looking for again? Alright, I want to show you what happens when I, uh, let's see, when big... When big slimes like those guys hang out with each other, bad things happen. Alright, so, uh, for instance, well, there you go. <laughs> that was a perfect example. He ate a uh, pink plort, and that's why he turned into a giant uh, rocky pink plort. So if a little, uh, let me feed one right now, just to show you even more. So this little blue guy, if he, e if he eats a pink plort, like so, or, or if it just gets stuck in his face, there you go, and he turns into that. But, um... For instance, let's see. Let's see if I can find a different kind of plort here. I'll pick this up. Whoa, wait, whoa. I'll get rid of. Uh, hey, where'd the blue one go? Did you take my blue one? Darn you! Hmm, I really want to show you guys because it's really crazy and interesting. Because uh, I don't know if I've caught it on recording yet on the last episode. Because I've I've been playing this for a while. There we go. Some tabbies. Uh, this is a perfect place for this because. 
for what I'm trying to talk about because uh, it happens naturally here all the freaking time. It's crazy. Alright, so let's see. Uh, so there's that guy. So if this guy eats a quart that isn't what he's made of already, like let's say a one of these tabby cat quarts. Is that a chicken? Ah, wait, I want to collect the stony chickens. Stony lonesomes. Yeah, uh, no, I want to collect the stone hens. There, okay, cool. Ooh, cool. No. All right. Um, if we wait around here long enough, it probably will happen. Actually, I'll just go about my business while these guys probably start going crazy. Cause they. So if that, if what I'm talking about happens, if this guy eats like a tabby port, this guy starts going crazy and evil and starts trying to kill everyone. <laughs> like literally, he's just trying to kill everyone. It's nuts. Let's see, let me try. Let me try I'm doing it on purpose. Uh, here, eat this. Oh, wait. Uh, eat this. Eat it. Why are you taking my stuff? Like, tabby cat slimes are kind of cute because they, they steal stuff. Ow! They steal stuff randomly. Here, eat it. And they just walk around with it. Oh, man. This is like a bad thing waiting to happen. Because once it starts going on. Cause like when when they turn evil and start eating people, they start multiplying, and then uh, and then uh, they start multiplying like crazy, and there's like a lot of bad guys. It's gonna happen sooner or later. Ah, uh, come on, dudes! All right, you know what? I think I'll just uh, take it to the streets. And when I say streets, I mean my ranch. Even though it's uh, a little too close to home, I just want to demonstrate it. I do have stony hens. I got a roostro, got some carrots, those are always fun. Uh, I don't really need more, I have a chicken coop and there's some breeding stuff, so... Ow. Okay, so I got a rock floor. Which I'll use for the demonstration of the evil death uh, things that I keep talking about. Let's call this episode the evil death things. I don't know what they're called actually, I think they're called like rainbow, ravenous rainbows? Actually they're called tars I think? Because they look a little tarish, but the reason they also kind of look rainbowy is because there's like weird coloration going on. Let me just do it. I'm gonna do it in a safe manner though, because uh, well, you know, I don't want to destroy my entire ranch here. Oh, hello. Why are you escaping? Well, I'll use you. <laughs> sorry, but you're today's the day you're gonna die, little buddy. I'm um, sorry. I just want to make a cool video about death and stuff. Alright, eat away. There you go. Check that guy out. Oh, ow. Okay, so he's literally trying to kill me right now. And if he eats uh, slimes, they turn into one of these guys. And the only ways I can kill them is if I throw them into the ocean like this. See you later. Boom. And he's dead. I can also suck up water and shoot water out as a projectile weapon, which is pretty cool. Bom, 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 bom. Got some carrots up in here. Wait, didn't I have a Q-berry? Oh no, I probably shot it out somewhere because I'm dumb. Hey, what, what the heck? Get out of here, swine. Don't eat my chickens. Oh, what the heck? Why is there a bunch of rock plugs on the floor? Oh well. Here's an extra slime to make up for that death thing that happened just now. Let me go ahead and feed him. And... Eh. Ta-da! And that's how it happens. The mystery of slimes discovered. Let me just go ahead and make some money. Oh, I need to feed those, uh, those phosphor. Oops, can't pick up that much. I need to fi uh, feed the phosphor slimes. I don't know what they eat, though. I don't remember. Bling, 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 bling. Okay, get rid of this crap. Uh, do they eat veggies? I don't remember. Let me check my slime repeater. Slimepedia.com. They eat fruit. Okay, so I can't feed them the carrots that I have. Man, these, uh, these rates are terrible. At the beginning of the game, these used to be like 30 per port. Now it's 10 and 18. This sucks. Okay, um, this thing is without food, so I'll shove this stuff in here. Oh, I'll keep one. I don't think I... There you go, I almost forgot. Let me gather these pogo fruits and feed the phosphorus slimes. Alright, I'll be- Whoa, hey, come on, I need an air net for this thing. I have a lot of money, so... Air net! 
per choice. I need to per choice this. Like, a piece. Even though it only gives me like, I don't know, five dollars or something. Five Nintendo ID bucks. Sorry, I forgot about you. Eat up. I need to upgrade this uh, place, actually. Let's see. Uh, music box? I don't know why. I don't know what this does. Actually, I, the only reason I bought a music box last time is because I thought that that's why they turned into evil things. I'm gonna go ahead and do a port collector because that's always handy. And uh, I'm gonna have to call it an episode. Thank you so much for watching, my crystal ears, and I'll check you in the next episode of Slime Rancher. Bye bye. Check out the game and stuff. Bye. I love you. <laughs>